Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mousy Forum Roleplay Review. Um, today is a little bit different in that I'm reviewing a board that I've already done. Um, in my channel you'll find the original review for Star Army, which I did uh, late last year. And in the course of that half hour review I actually managed to miss some giant parts of this forum, um, which is not surprising uh, given the depth that this this forum goes into uh, but one of the th key things that I missed was the character creation guide and I have been asked if I could pretty please go back and have a look and see what I can find this time around so I'm quite happy to do that. Um, before I get into it I will just say that um, from my next review onward all of my reviews will be published on Tumblr and I will also be accepting uh, requests via Tumblr as well. So you can find the link in the description here if you want to follow me, um, see what I'm up to, see what memes I'm interested in, because I love me some memes. Um, but I'll also be posting all of my video resources there as well, as well as on the, the RPG community sites that I'm part of as well, um, RPGD and RPG Initiative. So, back into it. Um, Star Army is a sci-fi space opera, which um, it may be one of the most rich and complex sites I've, I've ever had a look at. Um, the, the level of detail that goes into this site is just incredible and the way that the members also contribute to that lore and to developing the site is absolutely fantastic and it's been a long time since I've seen anything like that anywhere else. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a fangirl for um, Star Army but like a lot of older sites, especially ones that have got that level of information available, it can be quite hard to navigate it. Um, they do have several different types of role plays going on at any given time and that so many different races and and settings and all that sort of stuff like it's understandably very difficult to get ha get a get a hang of um so that's why it's not very surprising that when i looked at it the first time i actually completely missed some massive massive sections of the board so i've in the previous one i looked at the site announcements and admin stuff um but what i believe i missed They posted my review. That's that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Also, hello if you're watching. Um, yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, new player's guide. That's what I wanted. So it takes me to this. Um, so I think where I got confused is the difference between the new player's guide and the character creation guide, which I never actually got to. Um, so this is what I looked at in depth last time, um, where there's quite a bit of detail on how the site works and creating a character. Is this what I needed? I think I looked at this. Um, so now I'm confused. I'm just going to go back to the site for a minute. Not that one. I'm very lost right now. Okay. It doesn't take much to lose me, especially not um, at the moment. Okay, so I actually haven't seen this particular um, page. So this is interesting. Uh, it's very cool. It's a good start, and I'll again. I fangirled quite hard over the um, original art last time and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing again. Um, so that takes us back to the new player's guide which gives us the different empires and all of that. So somewhere last time
I found that's to the new player's guide on the wiki. What did I find last time? Ah, this one. Welcome to Star Army. Okay. So, the new player's guide and the character creation guide. Um, I believe this is where I got confused. So... I've looked at this several times now. Um, I mean, it's, it's quite straightforward. The problem that I'm having is it's not immediately um, it's not especially obvious as to how what the path is because once you get into the new player's guide you've got all of this you've got all of this to um, to get through which there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. There is so much here, it's it's amazing. Um, but in a way, you kind of want to keep bringing people back to this topic. This topic is, is perfect in that it's not especially overwhelming. Um, this probably is. Um, this probably needs to be a version of this that links to things but doesn't give as much information as you've got here. Um, so you probably want to list, okay, so there are two main, main factions um, and then link them. And then a role-playing overview. Um, see because that's, that's what you want people to read here is this role-playing guide link. Um, so you can probably cut this down to a little bit less than what you've got there. Just a very brief overview. Um, and again with all of these things. Because once you get a... Um, yeah, this, this needs to be an echo of this. So this is your main quick start guide, and then you've got your two other quick start guides that branch off of that, your new player's guide and your character creation guide. Um, where the new player's guide shows you everything that you need to get started out of character, and then the character creation guide picks up where that le leaves off and shows you everything that you need to know to create a character, if that makes sense. Um, I think that's going to be the best way to break it down. But looking at it here, um, so this table of contents is essentially what you want your first first page to be on here, I think. Um, so basically just these sorts of links um, with very brief amounts of information and then link to a more detailed variety of uh, detailed version of of this. So this paragraph might be, um, I'm sure you've got a whole lot more information on that. You don't really need a short, a, a paragraph des dedicated to it here. Um, I think the link is enough. I think you can cut a lot of this down to just linking people to the information that they want to find. Um, because as, as you saw in the original video, I kind of looked at this and went, whoa, everything's here. And I kind of assumed that this was, well, you've got creating characters here as well. Um, and your account set up. So you might need to sit down and think about um, what you want to be in your new player's guide and what you want to be in your character creation guide and really separate those out into out of character and in character actions. So your new player's guide is purely registering your account, um, introducing yourself, navigating the forums, and uh, creating, and then link to the steps to create your first character, which is where you link your character creation guide. And I think that will really close it down a bit. Um, 
and then you can have a setting guide probably um, so that when you go back to this you've got a new player's guide setting information character guide um, and then for each of those you have your again a simple index like topic like this that goes into a short description of the pages that you're linking to and then links to those pages and let those pages carry the brunt of the work. Um, you don't need to have a whole lot of information on your index pages. It is a quick start guide for a reason. It's there to supply the links and the pathway that you expect people to follow as they navigate through your site. Um, so that's probably the best way that I would do it. Um, sort of using a tree of quick start guides. You do have a lot to cover, so it can be, well, it's definitely very hard to, um, to get all of it done. And I absolutely commend you for everything that you've done so far. Like this place is absolutely crazy good. Um, yeah. But I think that's why I missed it the first time and there's a, the, again there's things here that um, aren't necessarily I see that are related to character creation like uh, grabbing a veteran. Um, that could be something you suggest as part of the out of character process is getting someone to help you integrate into the community or and obviously to help you build your characters and getting them getting getting new players into the game I would have a whole page on that to be honest um, I would put this at the top if your goal is to get people into the RP quick and smooth make sure people know that at the top of any document um, because as you say there, there is a lot in the wiki and there's a whole lot to be overwhelmed by. Um, your character templates, again, I would use a, sec a separate page for this. I would separate a lot of this into separate wiki pages and really make it um, easier for people to sort of get to that specific bit of information because you've got a wiki set up. You've got the, the ability to do that. Um, so yeah, following from your quick start guide on the forums, try creating a quick start guide wiki page and then branching out from there. Um, I think that's yeah going to be the best way to do it. <coughs> so what else have we got? look at the active plots. I don't think I looked at this. Oh wow. <laughs> Turns out power armor works great against muskets. Awesome. Um, this is really cool. Again, even think about having a different um, page per plot because that could be awesome and then you could use this page to just give a really brief overview of all the plots that have run and then people can go in and and look at the details and all of that. Um, that could be really cool. Look at all these things you've done. That's so exciting. Um, characters wanted. A lot of these are very long which is why I'm suggesting quite a bit. Um, Uh, breaking it down into more pages, I think, is going to be the key. Um, let's have a look at some specific guides. Okay. Let's see how to create one of these. <gasps> Cat people! They're cool. Not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, but they are cool as... I 
love them. The detail in this is just amazing. So, yeah, the, the information that you've got is just absolutely stunning. Um, again, species would be very well done as its own part, uh, page and then have <coughs> the, um, this index here is perfect and then it branches out into your other things and then you can use your chuck main species and alternate species in the same one. Um, let's see what a Lorath is. Oh, they're pretty. Well, all of them are pretty. So yeah, um, because these are so long, they definitely need their own page. So, when it comes to, yeah, character creation, you've got so many wonderful things here. Um, okay, choosing a faction. Uh, let's see what we've got here. See, that's ideal, is having that, that list, and then I can click in and, and really get down to what I want to be. I just don't think there's any way that you can make it any more streamlined than that, aside from splitting these things down into into more pages and having a um, index, sort of a, almost a walkthrough topic um, to what people will want to read in what sort of order. So you go, you know, start with picking your faction um, and then choosing a species and that sort of thing. Um, So that's, there's so much here. Like I am still overwhelmed by how much is here, but it's all so beautiful. It's seriously beautiful and there's really not much that I would change, but um, let's have a look at some setting stuff. Like, with a setting this original and this rich, like, you, you can't possibly expect um, it to be an easy thing to get into into the um, into the roleplay. Something that you might want to look into actually is when people do set up their roleplays and have an idea of what sort of characters they want and what sort of species they want involved in that particular plot and situation is that your game runners start their create their own um, their own quick start guide that would then step through people step people through the topics that they believe would be most most useful to get into that particular role play and then you could have a list of um, on your main forums would be the best place to do it uh, <laughs> So maybe in there where you've got your OC, um, something like that, sort of, sort of something that's going to help people get straight into a particular plot, maybe, um, that's created by yeah your your game runners, so that if someone comes onto the board and thinks, oh, hey, this, this particular thing is something that I'd like to get into, then they've got the pathway to create a character that's going to fit perfectly into that into that setting um, and into that plot, and that might be something to think about. Because creating a character that will just suit the site is a very daunting task. 
So if you can narrow those things down in any way whatsoever, um, that might be something to think about. But yeah, it's just such a fantastic site. I love this. And you've done so well on on so many levels, like it's fantastic. Um, so I hope that I've got through as much as as you would have wanted this time. Um, I'm probably still missing things and that's purely because there's so much out there to read. But I think that's about as much as I can as I can offer you. Like, there's so much here, like all of these locations, and the timeline is just incredible. Um, oops, not supposed to be there. Oh, let's have a look at technology. I'm going to keep going for a bit. Um, so when you do a quick start guide that is related to a pl particular plot, you'd be able to link in things like this as well that are relevant to what's going on. So that, that might be useful um, as well. Radio. Who doesn't love radio? Oh wow, there's something even for food. That's amazing. I am just amazed by this place every time I see it. It's just beautiful. So, yeah, if there's anything that I have missed this time around, um, do let me know, and I will give you as much as I can, but um, I am honestly so in awe of this place that I don't know how much more helpful I can be, um, but I hope that I've given you something to go on. I've spent a lot of time in the, in the wiki, which is a very easy place to get lost. Um, but yeah, you've got an awesome thing here. And yeah, I wish you absolutely all the best with it again. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me babble on again. Um, and yeah, I hope it's been useful. Thanks guys.